Well, the U2 has been around since uh, 1955, and uh, even as a prototype, uh, there was there were vehicles chasing it either in the air or on the ground um, to help the pilot land safely. There were actually uh, T-33s. There were jet trainers that would follow behind the U-2 in formation. And then uh, shortly into the program, it became apparent that a car would be uh, a better choice. Uh, so the chase car has been around since the late 50s. The safest way to land this jet is a, is a nice two-point landing. And to do that, uh, we need uh, a pilot that's also qualified in landing the jet to drive quickly right behind it and give the pilot cues as far as how high his main landing gear is above the runway. I gotta make sure the pilot uh, has all the situational awareness he needs, so my primary concern is to make sure the pilot knows exactly how high his main landing gear is uh, at that critical time where he's bringing the jet to a full stall. In, in the safest way possible, you need a car to follow and be in radio communication with the pilot. miles an hour behind the jet, absolutely. Um, yeah, it's a big adrenaline rush, but you gotta keep that under control so that uh, you put safety of flight first. Uh, and I know that I'm helping the pilot safely land the jet so he doesn't get hurt or the jet doesn't break. Um, and that's a big uh, satis satisfaction as well. Is there a reason why you guys give chase car rides to people as kind of like Oh sure, well it's a lot of fun and it gets the word of the program out, it it's provides an incentive for somebody. Uh, we have great maintainers and anytime a U2 is launched there are hundreds of people. Maintainers, uh, PSD, physiological support, um, contractors, there's a lot of people involved while the pilot is the most visible. Um, so anytime we can share the wealth uh, with the guys that really help us out, um, that makes everybody's day better. These guys are going to prep the uh, location of the wheels with those housings that bolt on. Help them wind down. I like the fact that what I'm doing ultimately is helping the pilot land safely and, and protecting not only him or her, but uh, also the asset uh, on board the jet. Uh, it's a big balance of, of of observing what the pilot is doing and providing real-time corrections uh, so that he can land uh, as well as he possibly can and as safe as he possibly can. Uh, nice call. Help me out.